Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. And in this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we are gonna dissect the Lisa mattress. So let's go. We finally got the Lisa mattress. The Lisa, it's been, it's probably one of the first online bed boxes. They, they're yeah. early, you know, you had the Tufted Needle, you had mm -hmm. the Casper. Lisa was in that top three or four early early bed in the box companies. Yeah. This is, I remember around 2013, 14, they, they came on, they came on pretty strong too. They did a lot of advertising, but we never had one. So this is the first time we, mm -hmm. I can't believe this is the first Lisa that we've got, at least that I've seen. First of all, quick background. What is the story on this one? How come the customer returned this one or brought it back? It was a hand-me-down. It was they, a hand-me-down. It wasn't a mattress that they purchased. Okay. A member of their family was sleeping on it or had the mattress and you know, they, didn't want it, so they said, hey, we'll take it. You know, so they took it, and it was already two, year, two years into it or something like that. Gotta and, love hand-me-down mattresses. Yeah. Yes. So it was like, yeah, sure, why not? You know, yeah. let's, uh, so they took the, um, so they took the mattress from him, and then they're like, you know, it just was never, not something that they wanted, but, yeah. but they're like, well, I mean, like their personal preference, but they took it. It did the job. It did yeah. the job for, for sort of, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this mattress looks like it's in pristine condition though. I don't know why they would, yeah, the part, you know. It's uh, yeah, just kidding. If you can't see it from here, it's it, it has seen better days. It's got some stains on it, and yes. I would bet that there's yellow stains on it. I would bet though, it's uh, it's from the body oils. There's probably not a mattress protector over it. Yeah, yeah right. So it's yeah. you know the sweat in your body oils seep into the mattress. That's usually what the stains are, unless there was a little kid involved into it. But yeah, that's usually what those yellow you know, little marks are. It is, it is good to protect your mattress. Yeah. You know, um, the reason why it's not good is because like it is to, or it's good to put a protector on it is because over time, those oils and the sweat start seeping into the foam, the foam absorbs it. Yeah. And then it start kind of like just breaking it down, you know, and just, it gets gross. It gets pretty nasty. Yeah. Yeah. It, it gets, it could be, it get pretty nasty. Like Gabe was saying that those oils can get into the foam and just cause it to deteriorate a lot, lot sooner than it should. Yeah. You know? So yeah, protect your mattress, I would recommend it. And that is why a lot of companies don't give, uh, or they, they void warranties in cases like this, because they're like, look, I, you know, it could be just your oils and sweat and just breaking down that mattress. This mattress, it was what? We saw the law label, it was 2017, mm -hmm. it was made. So this is what is about a six year old mattress. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's not in great condition, for obvious reasons. Yeah, and then they just did not feel comfortable with the mattress. Yeah. Okay, and this mattress in a queen size now retails for eleven ninety nine. Mm -hmm. I think back then it was like eight ninety nine, nine ninety nine ish for for a queen size. Mm -hmm. King size like thirteen ninety nine, I believe today. So, and to be fair, the mattress in two thousand seventeen is not the same from what it was, at least from what I, but we'll see, we'll, we'll pick it apart and we'll see actually what's going on with this. Yeah. Let's open this up. And then Gabe, he's always excited to Perfect. try the mattresses yeah. and the test. So he's really excited to try this one, right? To not do today. Your, to do your mattress angels? Not, not, not today. For, for, for sanitary reasons, not today. Yeah, he's not gonna jump on this one. How thick is this one? Let's see what we got. Again, right way to measure, put something flat okay, let me on the, up. across the mattress. Add just under 10 and a half, so a 10 and a quarter. So you know that mattress? If you want to measure the mattress, just do the, use this, the straight edge. What we'll do is let's open it up. This has a zipper, so we just made ourselves easier. Just unzip this part of it. Yeah. Okay. So let's get this thing up. And then first thing I can see through the cover is this looks like it does have latex in it, which is great. But yeah. And I've seen this in past videos is the fire retardant sock. Every mattress needs to pass the fire test. It doesn't matter how you pass it. You just have to pass it. This is probably the most common way that foam companies are using it is with this sock. Now, here's what we have found. And the problem with these socks is that it's a fiberglass based sock. And I said it on the, on the law label, there's fiberglass or glass on it. And it does a great job at, at passing the fire test. However, if you get this thing exposed over time, there's little fiberglass particles that will go everywhere and just, it'll permeate like your room, your house, and the fibers of your clothes, and you'll have to replace everything. So it, it, there's been lawsuits on that where, uh, because of the fiberglass. So if you have one of these type of mattresses with a zipper top and, and you see it cover like a little sock like this, don't take it off, keep it, don't, you know, keep that cover on because you'll have problems 
we've seen it with with customers that have you know, oh, had, yeah. you know had to replace their mattresses so and there there is a lawsuit that i saw um earlier last year or this year about that so that's just a little little tidbit for you guys in 2017 this looks like it is i mean it could be a uh a a synthetic, a synthetic latex yeah. you know it's got the feel of it so it's, a, it's a, i'm sure it's a synthetic latex this actually looks feels like a very dense and resilient type of foam it doesn't really feel like latex but it does feel like a higher density foam on here which is better than a cheaper foam and what i've seen in a lot of these earlier bed in the box like casper had latex in the mm -hmm. earlier ones yeah they did use better materials in their early early versions yeah the later ones they've gotten a little bit cheaper now they have different materials which i'll do a little screenshot on it compared to what they have now but you see they have this convoluted foam now this convoluted foam you see right here it's meant the marketing side of these things is it's meant it's good airflow. for airflow it's good for pressure relief now a lot of it is marketing it's smoke and mirrors when you see this it's just a way that they can add it has add loft to it add loft to it it's about a two inch they two inches of foam on there but with that fancy knife that cuts it like this they can cut two inch they can double the the use of the foam you know by cutting it like by making it convoluted and it'll save on cost it's a big cost savings more meant for money saving practices rather than the function of it because it's not really going to add much airflow being convoluted it's not going to add much pressure relief like this it's actually kind of cheapens the 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 foam when you convolute it you know because there's it is now you have less dense and it's not going to be as resilient yeah as that so that's what convoluted is convoluted a lot of it is a little fancy marketing it was really early early on at least 15 20 years ago it mm -hmm. was really big you know so that's convoluted and then on here what is this and this is about a, a memory foam yeah so that's this, another what maybe two inches yeah it's another two inches of memory foam two inches and then what is this this base layer is where most of the support you want most of the support to come from the base layer which is six inches yep on here so what is it six, six inch two and two six inch base layer two inch of memory foam and then you have a two inch of uh, it say it's a synthetic latex it's a very simple very minimal this is kind of common though with these early bed in the box companies is these these three layers having the holes does give you a little bit more airflow but then it's negated once you start gluing the layers together you do inhibit a lot of that True. breathability mm -hmm. on it but it looks like latex but no I, I don't think it is it's not it's definitely not pure natural latex definitely not that no you know? right but i think it's more of a high density foam what did the uh law label say uh i did not see any latex no in oh the shoot label. okay yeah this is the 2017 lisa mattress you know just very simple Mm -hmm. For eleven ninety nine, I mean, I would compare this with one other mattress we just did with the, the Nectar. You yeah, know? the Nectar at, at that price point on the queen size is six ninety nine. And one thing, reason why the Nectar is made overseas. Yeah, you know, this is a domestically made this is, mattress. This is made here in the U.S. So yeah, which you got more control. The foam on here is gonna feels a lot more dense, just a lot more better quality than what we've seen. Yeah. Now the newer Lisa ones. I'm not. Sh I'm not exactly sure. I've never found mm -hmm. one of those, um, at least on the inside. But yeah, this is it. The Lisa, in a nutshell. If you guys have a Lisa mattress, put it in the comments and see. I'm just curious that you guys have experience yeah. with the Lisa. They've come out with a, a few other models too. You know, they have a hybrid hybrid mattress now, which has a little bit more buoyancy, from what I hear. Yeah, the one thing I like about the Lisa is their their look, like that four those four lines. Kind of yeah, reminds like, me of like the Adi Adidas or like something. Like generic Adidas. Yeah. Yeah. It does. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or case Walmart, or something like Walmart that. Adidas. Yeah. If this helped you guys, just leave it in the comments. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And if you're on your mattress shopping journey, we put together a mattress guide. And also, if you can subscribe to our channel, that helps us a lot. It keeps us going. And just, we, our goal is to make mattress shopping and help you sleep a lot easier. So yeah. we can do whatever we can do by educating this. Yeah. So. And if you need help finding a good mattress and you can't find one in the area that you're in. Give us a call. Give us a call. We'd love to build you a mattress and, uh, you know, answer any questions that you may have and just kind of help you on your, on your way. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thank Sleep you. well. God bless.